This video is a seven day guitar challenge. When I started playing guitar, I was always amazed by people like that. It's amazing, it's amazing. And I thought it's not possible, or this. It's beautiful. The thing is, I was practicing in the wrong way. And I wanna show you a shortcut to get your technique really, really fast in one week. Now you will need to practice and spend some time, but you can see clear results in seven days. So let's dive into it. With guitar, we have two main techniques that we use. One is alternate picking, basically picking each note up and down, up and down. The other one is hammer on and pull off, what you call legato. And this is the one that we're gonna deal with today. And it will sound like this. If we practice this right, we can get way more speed with a lot of ease because we actually don't need as much picking. It's a little bit more left hand. Level one is understanding the technique in a very truthful and clear way. So hammer on, right? And you probably noticed, but the thing is we need to be very, very careful and very clear about how we practice this. Otherwise it's not good. And I know a lot of people out there are practicing, putting the time in, but they're practicing wrong. So please, please pay attention. So. We're hitting the string. Now, I don't want to hit it too strong, but there's no way I can hammer on that volume. So I want to have things balanced. So I want to hit the string, and then I want to hammer on and try to get a similar volume. So it's almost as if I'm picking, alternate picking, but now... So I'm going to do that all across the string for just one second. Check out this motion at each one of the strings. So... This is hammer on. The second part of this technique is the pull off. Now when I'm pulling off, I'm basically doing that, my second, this finger becomes sort of like the pick almost. So it's like I'm picking this string. It's very important when you're practicing this, do it the right way and even exaggerate a little bit with the pull off. doing an album release tour in April, Mexico and Europe. Please, please come say hi. If you can't make it, please tell a friend that we're playing and I'd love to give you a hug in Europe or Mexico. See you there. Off here. We want to get our fingers strong and clear. So this motion, step one, ascending, descending. This step is simple, but very important. So we're going to play the still in this position, but I'm going to change the finger. So instead of one and two, I'm going to do one and three, and I'm also going to play in time. Check it out. If you like this, please click the like button and subscribe. It would really, really mean a lot and help. Thank you. Trying to be very balanced. Check it out. Now, it is important to build the speed and to build the consistency. Question, who is your favorite shredding guitar player? I wanna check out some new folks. Please drop some comments with some links and I'll check it out. Thank you. I'm not asking you to play this crazy fest right now. I am asking you to practice it in time. I will share this groove so you can check it out in this link here. I'll share a few tempos so you can practice that. Now, it is important for us to be clear, to be consistent and to really be able to do that for a few minutes, maybe two, three minutes, just ascending, descending and building the clarity and consistency of our fingers. Listen to how balanced this sounds. Amazing, right? So this is where we had it. This is what we want. We have, we, we, we want to have this control, okay?
In this step, we're going to group four notes together. This is the basic motion. Now let's hear it a little faster and in time. Now, it doesn't have to be that fast, it can also be... What I'm trying to show you here is that we want to get comfortable with this motion. Now again, I'm not expecting you to do this tomorrow, I am expecting you tomorrow to be able to do that. Clarity and focus. Now, this is really cool because this is where the music starts happening. We have the motion of two notes per string in a clear way and we're practicing it, it's all good. But now we're going to make music because I'm playing a major 7 chord. The same technique, hammer on and pull off. Now, it is not hard because you see this shape, it's just two notes per string. The same repeated element, this is B flat major 7. 1, 2, 1, 4, 1, 2, 1, 4, 1, 2, 1, 4. This is so cool because now you can change one finger and get B flat major 7 flat 5, which actually will sound really great on a C7. Which gives us the 13, the flat 7, the 9 and the 3. So, I mean, the options are endless and this is a really, really great technique. I want to do one more thing with you guys today. So we're going to take the A minor pentatonic, which you know really well, the pentatonic scale, doing hammer on and pull off all across the board, five position, connecting that. Check it out. This is really cool because it forces us to see the A minor pentatonic but not just be locked into one position but seeing it and being able to slide and shift between the subdivision utilizing this idea of hammer on and pull off. This will really give you also a lot of freedom and I think if you're serious about this please take this challenge of seven days and practice this. Half an hour a day would make wonders so go make some music. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.